If you don't know, the Battlefront Classic Collection released the other day and it has already solidified itself as the worst launch in gaming history. And in today's video I'm going to be talking about all the problems of this game because it goes beyond the fact that people still play the Droidica in 2024. The Droidica is not good, unlucky, hold the L, you're bad at the game. This is Rogues and I'm like half asleep because bro I did an 11 hour live stream of this game when it came out and my eyes are literally about to fall out of their sockets but a like and sub would be appreciated. Now, as I said, I did an 11 hour live stream. It was probably about 14, 15 hours because the game crashed on me a few times. But yeah, I played a lot of the game. I know a lot of what's, uh, you know, been going on. I know some of the issues. And honestly, I held an insane amount of luck because, bro, to live stream it for 11 hours on the PlayStation 4 without it crashing, like, bro, if you don't know, if it crashes the game, the live stream stops. Bro, I played for 11 hours in a row. How does that even, what is the luck that I get? I don't understand. Now what's actually interesting is that when the game released at midnight, they actually took off the servers about 20 minutes after it released because, yeah, everybody was having issues, everyone was crashing, and nothing was really working that much. So, there wasn't many people actually in the game, and I was kind of just there like, bro, why is it working for me? Like, I had no problems at all, pretty much, after the first, like, two hours, right? After the first two hours, I had no lag, no crashing, it was running perfectly fine, perfectly smooth, and there was only a few people in the games because people were having so many issues. I bet Aspire HQ was completely stressing out, they were chugging cups of coffee like Jawa juice, and I'm pretty sure they were taking down servers at midnight and then putting them back on a bit later, because when you press refresh, the servers weren't there, but then some people were saying that they actually had this issue later on as well, so maybe the servers were just completely whack i don't know now i know it's worse on other consoles um <coughs> xbox unlucky hold the l nobody likes you apparently switch was on and off half of people were saying oh yeah it's actually working really well and then other people were saying that actually was really garbage but then again who who buys nintendo anymore they fell off like years ago and then of course you have pc which <laughs> bro it, it kind of already explains itself I think PS5 runs worse than PS4, which I can't say it even make any sense. It's so stupid. But this game release is actually just dumb. A lot of people were saying they were crashing a lot, and you know, I had a bit of crashing, but bro, I don't know, I just got a lot of luck and it just worked out alright. Honestly, just turn British and get a PS4, and the Battlefront Classic Collection runs perfectly. So when the game did work, it actually was a ton of fun, and I got some clips here which are just diabolical. Yeah, sorry mate, I might need a um, I'll, I'll look at the Death Star map glitch. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna... Oh my god! No, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're not, we're not getting kicked. Why is Leia here? Leia means need to die. I just blew up Leia. I literally just... Bro, did you see that? Clipper boys? No, I'm joking. Unlucky Leia. I'm really good with a missile or rocket, actually. Now what's crazy about that Death Star clip is that that glitch was in the original PC version on Steam. So it's like, yeah, they've done the port, they've re-released it, good graphics and everything, but they haven't even fixed any of the other issues that were in the game already. And now there's more issues. It's just like a complete mess. And I can understand why people are calling it a cash grab because surely like these should have been fixed. Like that's a game breaking bug. You can literally go through the walls and spawn and kill everybody. And honestly, Aspire, if you're watching this video, bro, please don't ban me. <laughs> I was just testing the game, trying to find if the issue was still there, and I'm just trying to highlight it to you. That's all I'm doing, okay? I might have killed the guy, it's not my fault. Now, although I didn't have any lag, I could definitely see that the lag was pretty prevalent because, bro, when I was in the game, I just saw people teleporting from one end of the map to the other, like just spinning around, just doing some random tricks. Honestly, it looked like they were trying to hack the game and had speed glitches, but it was just kind of ridiculous and I could easily kill them. So, do I feel bad about it? Not really. Now, when everyone was losing their marbles and there was a mass refund kind of thing, going on basically a spiral like okay we're gonna give you a cheeky update a little cheeky fix just to make some of you guys a little more happier now some people noticed the game was getting a lot better but then other people were like bro it's exactly the same so i'm not sure about really any of this there's no stats that can prove oh yeah the game is actually running better statistically now like bro i think half people don't even really care about the game anymore so that's basically it for the player base um but one thing they did change is that the ticket count is a lot higher basically when people were playing the game the ticket count was like 100 so you had 100 troops against 100 troops and it was like well the games would be over in like two or three minutes so i understand like people thought that was way too short and me included like i'll get the hero at the end of the match and then play for like one second and then it'd be over and it's like bro i want to play the hero i want to play darth maul and just kill everyone but that wasn't happening so now it's like 350 and i can just play darth maul for like the whole time and just you know um make some people cry 
One thing I didn't understand though is that, bro, there's like 15 seconds sometimes to spawn into the game. It's like, why is it sometimes 15 seconds and then other times it's 5 seconds? And I noticed that I think if you get more kills, then the timer actually is less. Like, it doesn't really make much sense. And honestly, I like it on the original version on Steam on some of the servers that people have settings wise, where it's like you pick a class, you basically spawn into the game instantly. Like, it's just a lot more fun. There's less waiting around. So it actually made the games somehow even longer. But it's like, well, bro, if the games are lasting three minutes originally and you still have to wait longer, it's like, bro, there's not even much time to even play the game. So it's good they kind of fixed that. But still, yeah, bro, the time is too long. Now, as I said, on day one, after the first two hours, everything was running fine. I didn't even know there was any problems with the game. I didn't know there was any backlash with the game. But now, after this patch, I'm actually starting to get some problems. Like, bro, there's actually lag every now and then. It's still playable, still feels good to play, but it's only every now and then. So I, I'm all right with that. But then there's also the spawn flicker screen. It's really annoying. Basically, when you go to pick a class, there's just this flicker in the background of the map. It's really irritating. Honestly, epilepsy to a million. Like, oh shit, I completely forgot about the hit detection as well. It is so bad. It's on another level. Now, the original Steam version, right, it did have this problem, but only slightly. Like, most of the time, your shots actually do hit. And you're going to have it every now and then where you shoot someone and it looks like it's on, but a bullet goes slightly off whack. And that's just how the game works. But in this version, it's like, like, I'm shooting someone, like, dead on for, like, 20 minutes, right? And they're just not taking any damage. And I see them flinching. I hear the sound effect of their character, like, taking damage. They, they go, ah, shoot, I flip them dying or whatever, right? This is basically what they say. And you can see them with, like, a little spark come off their body, and they just take no damage. I, it happens with sniping. You see the bullet just go straight through them. It just disappears. It's just, like, it doesn't make any sense. How is the hit detection this ball? Poor? I was about to say bad and poor. Seemed, I've, I've made a new word, okay? Anyway, that's it for the video. Overall, like, I'm not going to refund the game because it actually works well for me, but most people already have. And are they going to make another patch or two to actually properly fix the game? I don't know. Maybe they just have released this one patch and like, see you later, boys. We got all the cash. But, you know, I don't know what they're going to be doing. Also as well, bro, they actually are missing cutscenes from the single player campaign. Like, there's just even more problems I haven't even thought about for this video. Like, that one was just off the top of my head, but I was thinking about it when I pressed record. But, yeah, um, what a launch. What an interesting uh, couple of days, I'll, I'll tell you that. But, anyway, in a bit, have a good one. And make sure to um, not watch those wrist rockets. Actually get the wrist rockets and just shoot straight into it. <coughs> not like the simulations. Like, at all. Also as well, I just want to say a huge thanks for everybody who's been supporting the channel. You know, the stream was incredible. The videos are doing well. The channel is doing well overall. And, you know, you guys are just amazing. There's nothing more I can put it. Bro, I don't want to get too sentimental, bro.